Hello, my name is Olivia Romer. I am a Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate Certified Consultant at TAG, a premier Sage partner for construction software with offices located throughout Southern California. Today, I'm going to show you how to adjust an AR invoice in Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate. Let's get started. To adjust an AR invoice, you're gonna to go to Accounts Receivable, Tasks, Adjust Receivables. The following box will appear. Enter in the customer ID number. Here, I've entered Grocers Association. Then you're going to pick the invoice that you want to adjust. I want to adjust this one here and enter in the accounting date in which you want the adjustment to take place. Then select the adjust button. Notice how the invoice adjustment window opens. In here, you can pick the adjustment type, whether it's a build credit, build debit, AR credit, AR debit, bad debt, customer credit and customer debit, refund, NSF check or a write-off. A build credit decreases the build amount on the customer contract and contract item or on a job. This also reduces the revenue amount in general ledger. A build debit increases the build amount on a customer contract and contract item or job and increases the revenue amount in general ledger. An AR credit applies a credit adjustment to the invoice, but it does not decrease the build amount on the customer, contract, and contract item, or the job. An AR debit applies a debit adjustment to the invoice, but does not increase the build amount on the customer, contract, and contract item, or job. Bad debt applies a credit adjustment to the invoice, but does not decrease the build amount on the customer, contract, contract item, or job. A customer credit applies a credit to the customer account, but not to any specific invoice. A customer debit applies a debit to the customer account, but not to any specific invoice. A refund reflects a refund for a cash receipt. This reduces the customer's receipt balance on the customer and makes entries to general ledger. NSF check reverses a cash receipt that was returned for non-sufficient funds. This makes reversing entries to the customer, contract, job, and to general ledger. A write-off applies a credit adjustment to an invoice, but does not decrease the build amount on the customer, contract, and contract item, or job. Pick the adjustment type that best suits your situation. If you would like a printout of the credit or debit adjustment, hit the Print Document button. It will pre-fill an adjustment ID number. Enter in the adjustment date. You can enter in a reference. You can also enter in a description. Put the amount of the adjustment that you want to create. When you go into the distribution section, you will notice all the line items within your billing. I want to adjust line item number five. I select the line item and then enter the amount that I want to adjust. Notice how it automatically picked two line items that it thought perhaps I wanted to adjust. Go ahead and zero those out. Then hit finish. Once you've done this, then hit finish again and start to print the journal. We have now completed the AR invoice adjustment. Notice how easy it was to adjust your invoice in accounts receivable AR adjustments. Want to learn more about Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate or any of the Sage Construction software products? Visit our website at www.teamtag.net or email us at sales at teamtag.net. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel.